everyone for this session of confer zoom tips and tricks we're going to go over breakout rooms and how to make those a success in your class so let's jump into it all right so here we are in a zoom session um, i have two participants in my session and you'll see that this is the main presenter so this is you right here um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our breakout rooms now if you haven't used these before it's a great feature that will allow you to put your students into separate private rooms so that way they can talk amongst themselves and they can do group projects in real time um, now you as the instructor will be able to go into each one of your breakout rooms and pop in check on your students facilitate the discussion a little bit and you can come in and out which is really really convenient so this is how you start that process you'll click on the breakout rooms icon to the lower uh, the lower right of your confer zoom menu if you don't see it you might have to click on this more icon to see it, it maybe that your screens a little bit too small so we're going to click on breakout rooms and you'll now see the ability to create your breakout rooms so you can create as many rooms as you would like um, and you'll see right here I have one breakout room created and I have two participants which means I'm gonna have two participants in my breakout room now if I increase that number I see that that number will go down. So if you've got 20 students and you up the number to four breakout rooms, then you're going to see five students per room. So this makes the math really easy. It's less stuff that you have to do in your head. Um, so I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to create two breakout rooms, which will have one participant per room because I only have two people. Um, and I'm going to assign it manual, uh, excuse me, automatically, which is going to make my life a little bit easier uh, because it's just going to create those two rooms and assign them in a random order. You can scoot students around after you create them, even if you create it automatically, um, but that's, that's a pretty easy process and you'll see what I mean. So I'm gonna click create. Um, in this, I'm going to hit recreate. Um, that's because I already have done a, I've done breakout rooms for this particular session. Um, so if you've done them before, you may have to hit recreate, otherwise it will say create. I'm hitting recreate and now I have two rooms and I have each one of my participants in those rooms now when I'm ready to actually put them into the rooms I'll click open all rooms but before I click open all rooms I want to go into my options here to the left and this is where I can choose important options like if I want to automatically move them into the breakout rooms or if I've changed my mind and I want to allow them to choose their own room. Um, you can allow participants to return to the main session at any time as well, um, if you want them to be able to go in and out, which is fine. Um, I'm not gonna allow either one of these. I do want them to automatically move, and I want them to close automatically after 15 minutes. You can choose whatever you would like here. Um, I think the max would be, let's see, oh no, there's a max of 999 minutes. Um, so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to have them automatically close after two minutes. So we can see what that, uh, actually let's do 10 minutes. So we can see what that looks like. Um, I do want to be notified as the instructor when the time is up. And I want there to be a countdown for my students. So that way they know that their breakout rooms are going to close in however many seconds. So I want to give them a full minute to wrap up their conversation. But you can do 10 minutes, 15, 30, 60, or 100 and 20 seconds to finish up their conversation. So now that I have my options set, I'm going to click open all rooms. And that's going to automatically put my people into the room. It takes a minute to do. So here I am in my main Zoom session, but my students here are in each one of my breakout rooms. And I can actually move my students to different rooms if I want to. Um, or I can join and just pop in and facilitate the discussion a little bit. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and join the first room. And yes, I do want to do that. It'll take a second. I get a little loading screen. But now I'm in my first breakout room. Um, and I can go ahead and talk and they'll see me. Um, or I can leave the room. And I can leave the breakout room meeting or end everyone's meeting. But typically you'll want to leave. The breakout room and then you'll get this little loading screen and here I'm back in the main session now if I want to see that all the breakout rooms again I just click on this icon and I can see I've got my two breakout rooms here 
And now I can join the second breakout room, which has my cell phone in it which has nothing going on. Um, and then again, I can leave my room and go back to the main session. Okay, so if I wanna go back in, I click on breakout rooms again, and I can broadcast a message to anyone. I could scoot people into different rooms, right? I can say move to and choose whichever room I want those people to be in. Um, I can send a message or I can close all of the rooms manually, which is a nice option. Um, once I click close all rooms, they get a warning on their screen that says they have 60 seconds to get to join the main session if they want to leave immediately or, or otherwise after 50 more seconds, they will automatically come into this session. All right, three more seconds and then they're all going to be put back in automatically. There we go, I have the first person and the second, and I can just exit out of this. I've done the thing I wanted to do, I've created a breakout room, I've popped into each one of those breakout rooms to facilitate the discussion, and I've brought everyone back together. So that is the quick and dirty for how you create and use breakout rooms, and I hope that they enrich your discussions and your class facilitation. Thanks for watching.